how are we doing? So, um, I always say just quickly, and it never ends quickly. So, just quickly for me, um, I've, I've been on client calls tonight, and it's um, it's one of those evenings where I, it happens most of the time with clients, but it's really kind of rewarding um, from both my side of things and from the client's point of view, it's where I believe the value is. Um, and I say this to to prospectus clients and to the clients when they sign up, the value is on the calls. So on the weekly calls, bi-weekly calls, whatever it is, that's where um, you have to show up because that's where I can have my biggest impact on them or what I feel. And most of the time, obviously we're talking like this, um, I get the daily trackers up on the other screen and I'm looking and um, obviously having looked previously at uh, trackers, I'm looking for correlations, like why certain things are the way they are. Um, and there's two examples um, in particular I want to share with you tonight as to why um, it might be within your interest if you are dieting at the minute or if you are following a plan at the minute, why it might be within your interest to maybe increase your calories um, because it's going to have a better long-term impact on you. So the first example as to why it's important to maybe look at increasing calories is for motivation, energy, and recovery purposes. So there's one client this evening and she was saying, listen, I've been um, unusually demotivated this week, low on energy. Um, she'd also had a, a, a COVID booster as well on the Thursday. And um, so that can't have helped. But I also looked at her tracker and she'd been on lower calories than what she'd normally been on um, in previous weeks. Specifically, her protein was lower as well. Um, her fluid intake wasn't anywhere near as good um, as as it normally has been. Um, it's previously been a weak point of hers. We focused on it. She's corrected it. But then um, this last week, it's been bad as well. And these are all um, things to me where I said that this is probably why you felt demoted while demotivated while your energy is lower. Um, because for one, your calories aren't high enough. They aren't where they need to be. If you're exercising four or five times a week, you need to supply your body with nutrients to A, recover and to, to B, give you the energy to train at the intensity you want to train at. And then obviously to feel good about yourself and, and to constantly feel motivated by yourself. So that's example number one. And so she's got a focus this week on increasing her calorie range and, and specifically protein intake, as well as her hydration. Um, and then with another client, um, same kind of like sim similar sort of things, um, but it's like she's been hitting higher calories. So like as soon as I, I looked at her tracker, in fact, can I share my screen because I can get it up? It's all changed on this. I don't even know how I can, I can't share my screen. Um, oh, well, never mind. Anyway, so as soon as I looked at her tracker before we got on the call tonight, it just screamed out health to me. Like she, she her calories were healthy. Um, you know, her, all her macros were, were good. So her protein was at a good level, et cetera. And then I looked across at her motivation, at her energy indicators, and she fills that out. You know, obviously it's, it's subjective, but they're all either a five or a four, and um, five being the highest it can be, four, be, four being the next highest, one being the lowest it could possibly be, and they're all five and fours. And it's no coincidence that it's because her hydration has been on point and because she's been giving her body enough fuel. She's done five weight training sessions this week as well. Um, so it all kind of matches up. And this is something for you guys to be wary of, whether you track or you don't track. I mean, I'm always going to be a, an advocate from time to time that you need to understand what you're taking in, what you're giving out. And for that reason, you need to track. You need to know where you are, and what you're doing. And certainly if you want answers, you know, like if you're not losing weight or if you're constantly demotivated, if you're constantly feeling like shit, or, you know, you're not sleeping well or, or whatever it be, you need to track it and, and, and get a big picture of what is going on. And, and obviously with my online clients, the daily tracker 
is for me to quickly look at stuff and be able to quickly give them answers and solutions. If they don't fit it out, I'm I'm speculating. I'm kind of guessing. Um, but like it, the the stats don't lie when it comes to stuff like that. And with the, with the second example, I say to like, listen, like the reason why you're feeling great about yourself. She was she had loads of energy on the call. Um, I was like, it's because you've got it like you, you you you've you're hitting a healthy calorie range you've exercised five times this week you you've basically found a weekly formula which is going to work for you and the only way i see her calories going from this point is up um and phil i was just gonna talk about you um and he's just commented so so guys read phil's comment there like it, his calories have gone up massively like so this upcoming week with phil I've taken his calories up to 3000 um, because we, we, we've kept on up and it progressively week on week. He, his, his weight's just not going up. And the minute we're trying to increase his weight until the end of this year um, before then bringing the calories down again. But the objective with Phil at the minute um, until the end of this year is to put on mass, is to get bigger. And at the minute he's, he's struggling to get out of the 80s. Um, Reason being with that is we're just interested in putting muscle mass on with him at the minute. And then when we get to the new year, we'll have a look at everything and see if he's in a position where we can um, have another kind of cutting phase. Um, but the, the, the reason being we're doing this like balking phase is that if we can put muscle mass on, um, when we go through the cutting phase, he's going to look an awful lot better when, when we get rid of, uh, of the body fat. Um, but anyway, that's Phil. Phil's up to three thousand calories now from what 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 was Phil on? What were you on? Eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred calories um, when you were doing your your cutting phase. So that just shows you how much more lean mo muscle mass he's got in his body without even knowing any stats. How healthier his body is metabolically, it's working a lot better. Um, and to read his comment, you know, he, he hit the nail on the head. But with with my um, female client. The exact same, I predict, long term will happen with her. And, um, you know, I, I said to her, like, six months, 12 months down the line, who's to say, you know, her calories at the minute are at 1650, which um, doesn't seem an awful lot, but it's a lot more than what she was on previously. Um, but who's to say we can't go above 2000 calories? You know, in six months time, why can't we be 2200 calories? and you maintaining your physique, you maintaining your athletic, athletic look. There is no reason why that can't happen. And, and this is what I say to people, the solution to you losing weight or you to looking like you're losing weight or looking more athletic, looking leaner, isn't always going to be dropping your calories. And here's the reason why dropping your calories can be the worst thing you can do because you're not going to adhere to it long term. And what's the underpin, underpinning fundamental thing that is going to determine you looking loads different? It's you sticking to your plan long term. So wouldn't it be better for your coach or for yourself to give yourself a higher initial calorie range that you know you're going to stick to, you know you're going to look forward to, you're not, you know you're going to have a lot more flexibility so you can eat food that tastes better you can be more social with your friends and with your family so that actually it's better for you long term um but also it's going to mean you're more motivated um you've got more energy to exercise therefore you're going to exercise at a higher intensity which therefore you, there's going to be more output um you're going to have um better lean muscle mass percentage on your body lower body fat percentage on your body so there are so many reasons why going on a slightly higher calorie range is going to be more beneficial for you long term. And this is what I try and get across to every single client. They come to me because they're lost because they keep going around in circles. And one of the reasons why they keep going around in circles and they're lost is because they think lowering their calories or they've been told that lowering their calories is the answer to their to, to them reaching their goal. When actually it's not. It's probably taking their calories up and getting them into the mindset of you're not going to lose weight straight away. 
Like if you want to achieve X, Y, and Z in six months time, in 12 months time, you need to get out of your head about chasing weight loss straight away. Let's get the foundation set straight away um, initially. Let's get your mindset right. Once we get your mindset right, once we get on the same wavelength, then we can really start to see some prog progression long term. And one thing I will say about you know coaching Phil, one thing I will say about my two female clients is we're all on the same wavelength, i.e. I know what they want to work towards and they know that I'm working towards the same thing that they want to achieve. And that is so, so important because when I say we're increasing your calories or when I say you need to up your calories this week because that's why it's caused low energy, low motivation, they trust me in what I'm saying. So you need to understand that sometimes taking your calories up is maybe the solution for you long term. Um, because what's the point in following low calories for two weeks, binge eating for the next week, um, and then going around in that circle all the time? You're not. You're just going to be the same. You're not going to achieve anything, and you're probably just going to end up with a worse relationship with food and exercise. Um, so when you set your stall out, set your stall out with long term in mind. What is that calorie range that isn't too much? isn't too little it's like the goldilocks 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 it's just right so that you're happy following it you feel energetic off it you know it's giving you enough nutrients it's giving you enough food what is that amount that you're going to be happy with um and that's the fundamental thing okay um but yeah i just wanted to share that with you tonight because as much as it's always going around in my head like tonight's calls have prompted it um and I love it. I get when we get when you get a client to a situation where I know I can safely take their calories up, like by two hundred, by three hundred, four hundred, even more than that, and then be okay with it. Like that is progress. Like, like with with the female client today, I'm not even bothered about what her weight weight is because I know she feels so much better about herself, and and it, she knows she's looking more athletic. She's getting five sessions in a week and she's feeling great about it. Um, all the recovery protocols are really good. So happy days. Long may, long may those sort of weekly cycles continue. Okay. So um, if you stay to the end and listen to this, because it's not, again, it's not a short chat, but just have a think, guys, about what is the healthy kind of range for you to stick at and to stay at that, that you know, you, you're not necessarily going to lose quick weight off, but you're going to long term be able to stick to it and be happy with it and be able to perform at your best at work in the gym. Um, and it's going to help every aspect of your life. Have a think about that. Um, so that's my little kind of Sunday thought tonight. But I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I hope everyone's ready to tackle uh, the, this next week. Um, over this next um, like two month period, we've got some exciting things coming out. There's going to be some more inf information about uh, the 2023 program releases that I made the announcement of last week. So I can't wait to share more information with you about that. If you are interested about any of those programs, like a few have all already expressed interest in, just um, just uh, comment on this on this live or send me a, a private message and i will i will get back to you but um yeah i hope everyone's uh, everyone's all good and i'll speak to you soon cheers